Hi, my name is Pete and I'm at Rimmer's Music in Edinburgh and today I wanted to show you around the 700 series of Yamaha CLP Clan Nova. We're going to have a look at some of the differences between each model and also how it's improved over time. Yamaha have incorporated more than 130 years of piano building experience into this latest series of Clan Nova. And if we have a look back to the original 1983 model, we can really see how far we've come. There's a huge, constant improvement to the design, sound, and the touch of Yamaha Clan Nova. And now, with the addition of Grand Touch in the 700 series, Yamaha created a playing experience with the finest balance and the ability to put the most expressive melodic lines in. Two main samples of the Yamaha Clan Nova are the CFX, which is Yamaha's 9 foot classic concert grand piano, but also the Bosendorfer Imperial. Now, these are completely contrasting instruments. The Yamaha is designed to be on a console stage surrounded by an orchestra, so it makes sense to accommodate that. The first offer is much more geared towards solo piano works, as you'll hear now. So, the next big step up is the Yamaha CLP735. As you can see, the body is a bit bigger. We've incorporated a new front panel here, so all of our options are much, much easier to access. Um, there's also, for the first time in Yamaha Club and over, the addition of Forte piano voices. So, pianos that sounded like they would have in the day of Mozart and Chopin. Have a listen. every aspect of your piano sound, right from putting it in a setting like the cathedral and adding reverb, or if you wanted to open and close the lid, it's all there. You've also got a 16 track recorder, so you can save all of your music and all of your recordings as WAV files onto disk and straight into your computer to upload onto a CD or online. It's just a wonderful, wonderful instrument. The other big upgrade from the 725 is the amplification system. This has got significantly more powerful, giving you more broad tone to the bass area and more sparkle on the top. It's a wonderful, wonderful piano and certainly a good step up from the 725. We've moved over now to the 745. And now the 745 is the first club nova of this generation to introduce us to white wooden keys. Now this brings an even greater sense of realism to the playing experience and it is just wonderful to play. It's still Grand Touch S, but with that addition of the wooden, wooden keys, the balance is significantly improved. You've also got two-way amplification now. Now that means you've got dedicated drivers for your bass and treble ending sound, and that is simply astonishing to listen to because the quality and the detailing of each 
it sounds great, whether you go very long, whether very modern, is superb. A couple of little differences as well, you've got uh, extended, uh, extended music rest and also metal clip brackets now as well. Uh, the 745 sounds fantastic. Here's a couple of the electric piano sounds. Next up, we have the Yamaha CLP775. Now, this is a phenomenal instrument. Again, you can see it's slightly taller than the predecessors with the bigger speaker box in there as well. But let's talk about the action now. We are on to the full grand touch key action. So the length from the end of the key to that fulcrum is actually longer again. So that pivot point, the balance point is further back. So there's a much more accurate balance on the key. So you're able to combine melodic expression very, very easily and it'll really pick up the nuances of your play. Now, the design, as I say, has changed. There is now a touchscreen front panel here, which is significantly sleeker. It's a much better looking machine. There's a huge increase in quality as well. The linear grade keys on the 775 mean that every single note gets progressively lighter as you move up the keyboard. That really does mimic of a concert grand piano, and that is what Yamaha are really going for with it. The amplification system has changed again, so we now have three-way amplification with dedicated drivers for bass, mids, and treble. So that clarity of tone has just gone up another notch. Absolutely phenomenal to play and to listen to. There's now transducers in the speaker box as well, and they provide an almost tactile feel through the keys as if you would have on an acoustic with the strings vibrating. Just a wonderful, wonderful machine. Have a listen to this combination.
There are also grand piano variations of the Clavinova. This here is a 7 6 5. Absolutely stunning casework. The 795 is very similar, but actually has a wooden veneer inside as well, so it's even more beautiful. Now, the 765 is similar in spec to the 735, but it can add a bit more amplification and fluidity. The 795 is the very best. It's got all of the features on the 785, again with a nice curly dress on. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into Clavinova and which one might suit you best. Please do pop in and visit us at one of our stores. Alternatively, all of our contact information is below. Like and follow us on all of the usual channels. And I hope you have a lovely day. Some of the differences between each model and also how it's improved over time. 